Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. This is your first time. Welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Well, we're back at the uh, duck pond build. We got two trees out last time. This time, we're going to see if we can uh, start getting a dam built. Uh, we're going to be clearing this area out, all of this area, down through here, all the way out, trying to get down to a base clay. Uh, this whole area has a lot of clay under it once you get down below the root masses and whatnot. Uh, I don't think we'll get to draining the pond because, well, I only got about another hour or so of work. So we're going to just try to level this out a little bit and then uh, scrape some of this uh, material off so that we can get to a good base. The dam is probably going to go right along that tree line. I'm going to try to set it up on the outside edge and bring it back around here and level it out somewhere here. There should be, you know, this this whole area here probably be about doubling the duck pond. About. We're not trying to make it huge, but what I'm trying to do is make it so that I can get the tractor in there when we drain the pond to clear out all the uh, crap that's at the bottom of it. There's a lot of crap. A couple weeks ago I pulled eight wheelbarrow loads out yeah by hand that was a pain in the butt I said I won't do that again so next time we drain this pond it's gonna be pulling out all that crap but what we're gonna start with is just on the back side pulling some of the stuff out there's gonna be God knows what coming out of there because there's been God knows what coming out of it so far it is what it is a little warm so if you look right here, you can see the uh, ground is pumping some. Actually, let me see. Now, yeah. it was pumping some. We're pushing out some of this uh, nasty mud that's in here, which is good. This is what we want. We want to find the soft spots and get those taken care of so that when we put good dirt in here, the uh, water is not undercutting the dam. I still have some more I'm going to do up here with the rippers and then I'm going to switch over to just the straight box blade without the rippers so that we can uh, scrape this out some, try to get down to a good hard pack as well as pull that crap out. Yeah, deer flies. Well, it's the next day. I did a little bit of work around here just to fine tune some things and get some things uh, straightened out. But before I go change this battery out because it's almost dead. I forgot to change the battery out when I was inside last night. Oopsie. This is what we have. We have a good hard pack right now. Well, other than this area right here, which this is why we're fixing it. I don't know if you can see right there in that light spot. Let me see here. Yeah, there we go. Water is coming through the dam right there. So this is what we're trying to alleviate. And all of this through here, is all muddy as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna release the quackens. Yep, we're gonna release them, pick up our cinder blocks, pull the fence, pull the posts over to that one in that corner over there by the tractor. We're also gonna pull all the lines down for the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pull all the lines down for the, uh, you know you're annoying. Third time's a charm, right? We're going to pull down all the fishing line for the hawk prevention. And we're going to go ahead and pull this dam out of the way. So that we can put a better one in that's hopefully not going to leak as much. I'm not a construction guy anymore. I've never built a pond. This is my first time. This is my first attempt. That's why I'm starting small. I don't want to have 100,000 gallons of water backed up if I build up a dam on the hill if this doesn't hold. Just saying. Now as far as removing the uh, T-post, we're going to do it the easy way. Chain and hydraulics.
Well, at this point, I guess the only thing left to do is uh, blow open the dam. Or what's left of the dam. Res resembles a dam. I don't know. At this point, the pond's pretty much drained. Yeah, there's a little bit more to go, but that's some nasty, foul-smelling crap. And it's all gone down over to water the woods. Now I'm gonna start from there, and I'm gonna start pulling the dam out. I wanna pull as much of this crap and dirt out as possible and I'm just carting it down back. I'm not even going to start digging through it. I'm just going to rip it out, rip it up, and rip it over there. Well, we're back. We got it all uh, cleaned out so you can see. Now it's not perfect. It's still got some crushed glass and topsoil in here, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get the rippers down on the box blade now. You can see that back there. We're going to uh, rip the path up that we're going to put the new dam in. And then I'm going to start hauling dirt in. Uh, I'm probably going to start at the low point and work my way down through there. Now for compaction, we're doing something a little different. I don't have a plate compactor. I don't have a roller. I don't have a tamp. Well, I have a tamp, but doing an 8x8 pounding tamp for an entire dam is going to be a pain in the butt. So we're going to use compression compaction. Basically the front tires on the tractor, because of the size, if I have a full bucket of dirt in there, it compacts the ground pretty good. Um, I did clean the tires off by running it back and forth across the lawn, kicking out all the mud. Hey, adds nutrition back to the lawn. <laughs> 